Well, Dave Cornthwaite is someone who finds it hard to keep still. In fact, the last time we caught up with a British adventurer, he broke a world record by skateboarding 6,000 k's right across the country and grew muscles in places he never knew he had before. Now he's up creek with a paddle, kayaking along the Murray River from source to sea and is on the line with us right now. Good morning. What are you up to? <laughs> Good morning. I'm paddling the length of the Murray River from source to sea. It's another Australian adventure. Why? What, what, what's the purpose? What's the point? I know you're catching it all on camera, but are you wanting to, to change uh, the, the world? What are you up to? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to change my world, maybe, <laughs> Peter. Uh, it all started when I was skateboarding across Australia. I, I pushed onto the Wellington Ferry south of Adelaide, 2,800 kilometres of Nullarbor Road under my belt. And that 100 metres across the Murray was the most peaceful out of 6,000 kilometres. And I was ever so sad to have left the river. Um, I'm glad to say now I'm back on it. Uh, I started kayaking earlier this year uh, and I'm making a documentary about the Murray. I know it's, uh, it's facing some pretty tough times at the moment um, and there's no better way for, for me to find out about it than, than travel the entire length. Absolutely. Look, so what is the verdict? What sort of shape is our precious Murray in? And, and if people question you as to how you are doing this, particularly in, in a kayak, because I know that water levels are low. Mm. Well. It's, uh, at the moment, I'm going to reserve my, uh, my judgment a little bit. I've only travelled the, the upper section from the source down to Albury so far. Um, and I've got to report the, the river seems in incredibly good health up there. Uh, I, was, I was literally wading through two feet of snow uh, from the source uh, down to Biggera where I put my kayak in. Um, so I know there's plenty of rain and snow melt coming down the, uh, down the river. Uh, really fast flows uh, until we get to Lake Hume and, and levels uh, seem at an all-time high, well certainly this decade um, in Lake Hume. Um, the river completely changes beneath the Hume Dam though uh, and uh, although I've only paddled 27 kilometres of it, um, it seems you know fairly fairly slow moving. I think that's the nature of the Murray anyway. Um, so yeah I'll reserve my judgment but uh, so far uh, the, uh, the upper Murray uh, pretty good health. Uh, I, I think that might change as we go along though. And look, has Mother Nature been nice uh, to you? How's the trip been so far? Mother Nature has been utterly terrible. Uh, <laughs> like I say, uh, I, I, I started walking up to the horse in, uh, to, to the source of the Murray in, uh, in sunshine, uh, completely dry land. Um, I came away from it uh, just covered in snow. I, I hiked 50 kilometres in one to two foot of snow. Um, it's been raining, thunderstorms, electrical storms, but you know what, all this water is great for the river and uh, it would be a shame if the weather was the same every day, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Look, I've got to ask you though, how's your buttocks? <laughs> <laughs> so far, Peter, I'm glad to report they're fine. Um, no, no real blistering at all. I mean, maybe a little bit on my hands, but I guess we don't do these. If we didn't have blisters, we wouldn't be happy doing these things. So, um, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm physically in good shape at the moment. Good to hear. Well, we've got some information for people to contact you, or to stay in contact with you as well, and to also donate and to send you a message. But I've got to say, happy 30th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. What a place to spend it, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. Take care of yourself, and we wish you all the best. Look after those two precious cheeks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.